Hey y'all, it's Chloe. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be telling you guys how I successfully potty trained my two-year-old son. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get right into the products that I bought to help me potty train. So the first thing I bought was actually a potty seat from Walmart. I don't have it with me, but I'll insert a picture of it. The next thing I bought was this potty seat. I got the one with Paw Patrol on it because it helped get my son excited for potty training. Um, if I was to do it all over again, I would have just bought this and I wouldn't have even bought the potty seat or the potty itself because to me, this kills two birds with one stone and um, you're not having to constantly clean out the potty bowl from the other one. That can get really gross and really annoying. So um, I just bought this and this has been working perfect for us. Now with this, you're gonna need a set of steps and we just use some plain uh, wooden steps that we had here at the house. Um, you can buy them at Walmart, the plastic ones or anything, those will work fine. You're also going to need baby wipes. I use the fragrance free parents choice ones. Um, these are really good in my opinion. They don't rip or anything when you go to use them. And you're also going to need underwear. So I bought a few, um, packs of the character underwear just again to get him excited. I bought a few of these and a few of the plain ones. Um, just good regular plain underwear. I also bought a couple packs of the thicker underwear. These have the lining on the inside. Um, if I was to do it all over again, I probably wouldn't even worry about these because in my opinion, they're just like the regular underwear. Um, it's not like they hold a lot of pee or anything like that. Um, so it's not that they're bad, it's just that they're more expensive and you get less of them and they do the same thing as the regular underwear. So I probably wouldn't buy these again, but you know they're not bad so um, I'm gonna go ahead and get right into it the first thing I'm gonna let you guys know is that there's no magic trick to potty training there's no secret you know to it you're not gonna get it done in a week or two weeks that's unrealistic it's gonna take months okay it took my son like three three and a half months to get it down packed to the point to where he's now telling me when he has to go to the bathroom and he doesn't have any accidents um so it's gonna take time and a lot of consistency it's going to get really, really, really annoying and really stressful, um, but that's what that's what you have to do. You have to be very consistent with it because it's also new to them and, you know, you don't want to confuse them. So there's like two parts to potty training for me. There was the very, very beginning and then there was um, once he kind of got the hang of it and he, you know, could communicate with me a little bit better with it. Um, so in the very beginning, I didn't put underwear or pull-ups or anything like that on my son while we were at home. I just let him go naked because not only did that save me a lot of laundry to do, <laughs> but it also um, made him more aware of what was going on. When he was having accidents on himself, he would feel it. You know, he could see it on the floor. Um, and so he knew, oh, I messed up. Um, so it made him more aware. So that's what I did. That's what worked for me. Also, after your child eats or drinks, they're probably going to have to use the bathroom. So make sure, you know, you give them a couple minutes, but then after they get done eating or drinking, whatever, you put them on the potty and you say, you know, if you have to go to the potty, go to the potty. If you have to use the bathroom, use the bathroom. Um, and just leave them there, you know, let, let them do their business and that'll be that. Another thing is like every 10 to 15 minutes, you're going to want to ask them, do they need to go to the bathroom? Now this is going to get really annoying and really tedious, but it's necessary. In my opinion, it's necessary because children um, that are that small, they're not really aware of the feeling when they need to go to the bathroom because when they're in diapers, you know, they don't have to be aware. They just go to the bathroom whenever they feel like going to the bathroom. <laughs> so um, ask them that way you know, you're asking them a question. So they think about it and they say, do I need to go to the bathroom? But it's making them self-aware of the feeling. They're thinking, they're trying to feel if they have to pee. They're trying to feel if they have to go poo. You know, so in my opinion, that makes um, the kids very self-aware of if they need to go to the bathroom or not. Um, and then in the very beginning, when you have to leave and go to the store or anything like that, it's it was very stressful for me. I always put my son in a pull-up, um, but before we left the house, I always made sure he used the bathroom, always. And then put him in a pull-up, and then once we got to our destination, before we got out of the truck, and because I have a boy, I always kept an extra water bottle, empty water bottle or something in my truck, and if he had, I'd ask him if he needed to use the bathroom, and if he had to, I would let him just pee in the bottle. 
Now, y'all might think that's gross, but that's what I did, okay? Um, so, but if you have a girl, you might want to keep like some disinfectant wipes or something in your purse and take her to the bathroom in the store. But I would always make sure he used the bathroom before we got out of the truck if he had to go. And then once we get into the store, if we passed up a bathroom, I would ask him, do you need a potty? Do you need to go to the bathroom? And now sometimes, you know, he would tell me he did and he actually didn't have to go. And so I just let him know, you know, if you don't have to potty, don't tell me you have to. I just went ahead and corrected that. That way he knows that, you know, it's not okay to do that. Um, and then sometimes he would say, no, he didn't have to. And then five minutes later, he would pee at his pull up, which is fine. They're going to do that. You know, they're going to have accidents. Um, so just, you know, just make sure you're asking them so they can become self-aware. And then eventually they're going to get to the point to where they kind of have a grasp to it. That's how it happened for my son. He would um, start going to the bathroom on his own. He would go to the potty. Um, he would go pee and poo by himself. But then he would still have accidents because when he would go and play or, you know, when he was watching TV or something, he would forget and he would go potty on himself. So, you know, that's still going to happen. So there's nothing really that you can do about that. Just make sure, like I said, that you're asking and um, you let him know if you have to potty, you go to the potty. If you have to pee pee, you go to the potty. You know, just make sure that you're telling them that, that way they can remember because a lot of times they'll forget. Um, and that's just what it is. So when he became a little bit more self-aware of the pottying, going out for me became a little bit different. Um, I tried something different. So when we were going like to a store right in our town, close to the house, I would put him in a pair of underwear just to kind of test him. But I still follow the same steps, making sure that he went to the bathroom before we left, asking him before we got out of the vehicle if he had used the bathroom, and then still in the store, I would ask him. But, um, I found that for the short trips like that, we would come home and he would be dry. So that was really, I was really happy and really proud of him for that, you know, and I just, like I said, just making sure that you ask and allowing them to pee when they need to pee. Um, because it's di it's different for them when they're in public versus when they're at home because when they're at home They know where the potty's at. It's all normal to them. Everything's regular But when you get out in public, they don't know where it's at. It's not readily available for them So you need to make sure you're asking but I would put him in the underwear for the short trips just to kind of test him You know see if, if by the time we got home he would be dry and a lot of times he would sometimes he wouldn't but in that case make sure that you're packing extra clothes um extra underwear make sure you have a few pull-ups with you extra shorts and socks because when they use the bathroom it's going to run down their legs so make sure you have extra socks um but yeah so just testing them like that and that will kind of make him more aware when he's in public it'll make him think okay i've got to do the same thing in public that i do at the house now, like I said, it's gonna take time. You're gonna have to do that multiple times. Sometimes he's gonna come home dry, sometimes he's not, and that's okay. You know, eventually he'll grasp it. And that's exactly what happened for my son. So eventually he started grasping it and he would tell me, mommy, I've got to pee. Mommy, I've got to poo poo. Even if he was in a pull up, because when we went um, on further drives, like if we were going to a grocery store further away or just going somewhere further away, um, I would still put him in a pull-up because I knew he probably wasn't going to be able to hold it in the car seat for that long. So I would put him in his pull-up, but um, he would tell me, mommy, I've got to pee. Mommy, I've got to poo-poo because he's more self-aware now because with the steps I followed before, I asked them all the time um, and it made him self-aware. So another thing I want to add is that I didn't use any like sticker charts or candies or treats or anything like that to potty train him. I just used praise. When he went to the potty, I would throw the biggest party for him. Um, not really, but I would just, you know, clap and be so happy. And I would tell everybody around us, he went to the potty, he went to the potty, he did this, he did that. And everybody would cheer for him and tell him how good he was and how great that was. And he was such a big boy. And that's what really worked for us. When we showed him that we were proud of him and that we were happy for him, it made him happy. It made him excited. So the next time he went to the potty, he would be like, look, 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 I peed. I peed, I poo pooed, I peed, peed, I poo pooed. He would be so happy that he did it. And we would do the same thing. We would just throw the biggest party for him and be, oh my gosh, we're so proud of you. You're such a big boy. Um, so we didn't use any of the treats or anything like that. We just used praise. That was it. That's what worked for me. And now my son goes to the bathroom by himself. He doesn't have any accidents. I do still keep a pull up on him at nighttime and nap time um, just because 
you know, he is still two years old. At the end of the day, he's still two years old and I don't expect too much out of him. It'll happen when it happens, um, the night training. And I know eventually he'll grow out of it and he'll get better with that. I hope this video helped y'all out. Um, it's stressful, guys. I know it's really stressful, but just stick with it. Being consistent. Consistency is key because if you're not consistent with it, you're going to confuse them and it's just going to take longer. And that's going to do it all for me. If you have any questions or comments or anything like that, or if you need any advice, make sure you leave it in the comments below. Um, I appreciate y'all and I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye.